Caleb Lamb here with head coach Rich Crom for the coach's weekly report. Now, coach, a big weekend coming up for you guys. Three and three against the Ontario Reign, your main Pacific Division rival so far this season, and a team that has had your number a little bit. Four games, four losses, only one point coming in a shootout defeat. What do you got to do to finally get one over on this Reign squad? Well, I think that two of those games I thought we had pretty good efforts, and uh, two of them I thought we uh, didn't play very well, and they took it to us pretty good. So for us, we have to just be ready to play and, and play the way we did in those two games. The first game here at home, I thought we had a real strong game. They, they were able to get those three goals on us that were all very similar. Their game is straightforward. They uh, play north-south, and, and they have a lot of pucks in the net from the point, so we have to have good point coverage and, and strong uh, coverage in front of the net uh, to help them both teams out. Now, one thing that's sort of become a trend in the last uh, week here for the Thunder is a lot of goals, a lot of very exciting games. So far, uh, you've had two games that have combined for 11 goals, a 6-5 loss to uh, San Francisco, a 6-5 win over, over Bakersfield. Those are the kind of games that fans really love and uh, enjoy a lot, but they've got to be uh, something that gives a, a coach gray hair. Yeah, no, you don't uh, you don't want to be involved in too many of those games, especially when you have a, have a lead uh, like we did in San Francisco and, and going into third period, uh, gave the lead up and had to battle back to actually even the game up in order to take it in overtime. So um, I think we want to make sure we're better defensively, limit the chances. Uh, Ontario is a very good defensive club, so they're not going to give you a lot, and we have to work for everything we get against them. Now, one thing that might help you guys defensively is the arrival of two new defensemen, one uh, via the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. You've had uh, Mike Dahlhusen sent down for a second stint in the ECHL with the team. You've also gone out and made a trade. Lee Baldwin, the new defenseman, uh, coming into the squad uh, in exchange for Braden Irwin uh, via the Greenville Road Warriors. What do those two uh, kind of add to your defensive depth and capabilities? Well, I think we know Mike from when he was here early in the year. He plays physical. He's got a great shot from the point. Uh, he's, a, he's a threat all the time offensively from the point, but he's solid defensively. He plays the body consistently. And, you know, with him, we know what we're going to get that kind of play every night. He, he uh, competes hard. And, and with uh, Lee, you're getting a big defenseman who's a good puck-moving defenseman. He's got a great stick uh, defensively and uh, a big body. So I think that should help us back then. All right, and one other thing, uh, you've also got a new guy offensively with Nick Larson coming into the lineup. Uh, it's been good. You've had some guys banged up from playing a, a lot of games. When you've got multiple weapons at your disposal, uh, kind of the ability to, to switch lines around, how does that help you uh, from a coaching standpoint in terms of you know something like this situation, three games in, uh, in three nights, where you need to be able to change things up very quickly? You know, it gives you balance up front with your uh, with your lines and then allows you to play some, some people in different situations that you can take the load off of uh, guys like Clarky that, that play a lot and to play in every situation. Lars can play in any situation for us. He's been battling a bit of an injury, so he hasn't been 100% since he's been back. He's uh, limited in practice time. Hopefully he's ready for the weekend. All right, and one other thing that we haven't touched on is with this three games in three nights trip, this is a lot of time spent on the bus going back and forth. They trip down to Ontario, turn around, come right back, play a game, go right back to Ontario, and then of course the return after the game. I mean, you're spending more time on the bus than you are off the bus, it almost seems like. What does that do uh, from a player standpoint uh, that you have to be wary of to make sure guys are sharp? Well, it's uh, both teams are in the same boat. I mean, they get a little less travel because they don't have to come down to our building for that first game. But I think it's uh, just a matter of making sure that they get rest when they can and make sure they're eating properly. Uh, there's not much you can do. It's a difficult weekend, but certainly we can look forward to a little break at Christmas, and uh, that gives them a little bit of incentive here to have a good weekend and uh, go into the break on a good number. All right, that's the word from head coach Rich Crom. Thanks very much, and we'll catch you next week. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Caleb.